Hello friends. In this topic, we are going to discuss about kinematics of rectilinear motion with uniform acceleration. This presentation is made by Mrs. N. N. Sawan, Mr. M. A. Patwardhan and Mr. Y. D. Kute. Learning objective of this lesson is we will understand what is rectilinear motion with uniform acceleration as well as at the end of this topic we will able to apply uniform acceleration formulas to solve real life problems. What is uniform acceleration motion? Constant acceleration is sometimes called uniform acceleration. A particle is said to perform uniform acceleration motion if its velocity changes at uniform rate. For example, a ball rolling down a straight line has constant acceleration because its speed is increasing at the same rate. Second example is of falling objects which under, also undergo uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration formulas are derived as follows. We know acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity which is given by formula A equal to T minus U upon T. By simplifying this formula, we get the equation V equal to U plus AT. This is the first equation of uniform acceleration motion. We know displacement is given by rate of change of velocity which is shown as like this formula S equal to U plus V divided by 2 full bracket into T. If we substitute V equal to U plus AT from equation number 1 in equation number in this equation, we will get S is equal to Ut plus half Ut square, which gives us the second equation for uniform acceleration motion. Again, substituting T equal to B minus U by A from equation number 1, in equation number 2, we get B square equal to U square plus Uas. So, we get three equations of uniform acceleration motion that is V equal to U plus AT, V square equal to U square plus 2 AS and S is equal to UT plus half AT square where V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, A is acceleration, T is time and S is nothing but the displacement. Here the graph, first graph shows position versus time. In this graph, the particle is starting from the 0th position. Second graph is a graph between velocity and time. Here, the velocity, the particle is starting with the, from the rest. So, the velo initial velocity that is V0 is equal to 0. Which is, so, we get the equation V equal to A T. Third graph is acceleration versus time graph. Where the acceleration is constant. So the graph shows a horizontal straight line. Let's solve some numericals on uniform acceleration by using the above three formulas which we have discussed. Problem is a car attains a speed of 24 meter per second after traveling 150 meter along a straight road. Determine the constant acceleration and time of travel when a car A starts from rest and B starts with the initial velocity of 10 meter per second. Solution for this is a car performs rectilinear motion with uniform acceleration. So we have the formula to solve uniform acceleration, three formulas to solve uniform acceleration motion. So out of this, we are using here the first or second formula that is V square equal to U square plus U A S. As in the given data, we know the initial velocity for the first case, we know initial velocity is equal to 0, final velocity is 24 meter per second, distance travel is 150 meter, acceleration that we have to find out, and time also we are going to find out. So using V square equal to U square plus U A S. We get acceleration equal to 1.92 meter per second square. In second case, instead of starting from rest, 
zero starting with the initial velocity is zero. The car is starting with the initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Final velocity is 24 meters per second. Distance is given by 50 meters and acceleration is equal to that we have to find out and t also we have to find out. So we can use the same equation as the variables given are same. Instead of just instead of putting zero for initial velocity, we will substitute y as an initial velocity. So we will get the answer 1.92 acceleration at 1.92 meter per second square. Similarly, to find out t, we can use the equation v equal to u plus a t. As we know, now we know as now we know acceleration on both the cases. Motion under gravity. Motion under gravity is also the uniform acceleration motion. When the particle is projected vertically in the air, then its motion is under the action of gravitational force that we know. The motion of a particle under the action of gravitational force is also known as motion under gravity. Any object projected vertically up in the air or projected vertically down towards the earth performs a rectilinear motion with uniform acceleration. The acceleration is constant and its magnitude is g equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Motion under gravity therefore is a special case of uniform acceleration motion. The velocity keeps on reducing at a rate of 9.8 meter per second square every second till it goes becomes zero. This is the maximum height reached by the ball. The downward motion of the ball now begins. Velocity goes on increasing from zero at a uniform rate of again 9.81 meter per second square as shown in the figure. Throughout the motion of the particle, the gravitational acceleration is always in the downward direction which is given by g is equal to minus 9.81 meter per second square as per our sign convention as we consider downward direction as dt. Motion under gravity is uniform acceleration motion as acceleration is always a equal to g. At maximum height, we know velocity must be zero. Note, as per our sign convention, we shall view all upward quantities as positive, all downward quantities as negative, and acceleration g is always downward, so a is equal to minus g. Let's, let's uh, try to solve a numerical or motion under gravity problem. A stone dropped into a well is hurt to strike the water in 4 seconds. Find the depth of the well, assuming the velocity of sound to be 335 meter per second. Here we are interested to find out depth of the well. So we will take T1 at the time taken by the stone to strike the water and T2 time taken by the stone to travel the height edge. Then T1 plus T2 equal to 4 as total time taken by the stone to uh, strike the water and sound of water to come up is T1 plus T2 equal to 4 seconds. <coughs> so from this uh, we, can, uh, we can say for downward motion T2 is equal to 4 minus T1. So we have the formula S is equal to UT plus half AT square. By using this formula, by substituting values, we get the equation H is equal to half G T1 square. Still, the sound with a constant velocity for upward motion of the sound, as the sound travels with a constant velocity, for constant velocity we have formula V is equal to S upon T, where S is nothing but H and T is given as 335 seconds. So we get the formula as H is equal to 335 T2. T2 is the time taken by the sound to travel to the, up to the height of H. So the time taken by the stone to strike the water and time taken by the, the 
height covered by the stone to strike the water and sound to come up is same. So we can compare this equation that is equation number 1 and equation number 2. From the equation number 1 and 2 we get T1 as 3.79 seconds. And substituting this value in again equation number 1 we get H is equal to 70.42 that is the height of the well. Thank you. In the next uh, topic, we are going to discuss about uh, kinematics of rectilinear motion with variable acceleration.